obviously don't get asked many questions here on the channel. I am a smaller YouTuber, but I have still been here for nine years. And there actually is one question I do get that I do want to answer, and that is, what monitor do I actually use for gaming? Because throughout the whole history of this channel, you guys have seen easily 20 different TVs and monitors used for gaming purposes on this channel. Now let's quickly talk about the ones I don't have anymore. I used to have a giant 60 inch CRT. That buddy passed away a long time ago. RIP, that was my, <laughs> that was actually my favorite gaming. That was my favorite thing to game on for the longest time and I would still argue is. But that CRT is long and gone. It's been gone for a few years. I've also had a few shitty desktop monitors that you guys have seen. I've had a few crappy early 2000s flat screens too. Those aren't really important. But I just wanted to quickly highlight the 4 to 5 monitors I don't have. Now let's talk about all the ones I do have. It is currently uh, damaged from the build closet all the way over there. But uh, yeah, this was... The Samsung TV I had in the build closet. It has these nice side speakers. I fucking love this thing, man. This thing would be perfect for gaming, if not for the fact the color correction sucks ass. Not color correction, color accuracy. This thing easily has the worst color accuracy I have ever fucking... Uh, I, I have ever seen. Like, this is a really good, really well-built TV that has gone through hell and back. But let me tell you, the color accuracy just isn't there. So that's why this thing just got used in the build closet and why it's like just underneath the bed right now. Another thing we have is my Vizio flat screen that I got back all the way in I think uh, 2012, I believe I got this. And it, it's still kicking, it still does good stuff. I do some editing with this monitor. Doesn't really get used for gaming. I have a fire stick hooked up to eh, fire stick hooked up to it right now. It doesn't really do much. It used to be really good for gaming back in the day, but obviously with recent years and just with how technology has evolved, it's just not there anymore. The frame rate is also kinda ass. 33 hertz. Yes, you heard that correctly. Not 30, not 60. 33 and still to this day i think is the only tv i have seen with that weird hurt rating so yeah modern consoles when you plug it into this bitch it just doesn't display correctly which is a really shame because uh, i would love for them to display correctly if anyone knows fixes for this on how to get these tvs uh to a normal 30 hertz and they don't bork up the rating when you plug consoles into them that are at least you know post 2014 let me know in the comments. I'd be interested to hear y'all thoughts. Moving over, we have my uh, generic G-Tech that you can't really see the logo of. I promise the logo is there. Here, let me give you an idea of how fucking uh, half fast this thing is. Yeah, you see that, huh? <laughs> you probably didn't see shits because I didn't see what y'all were seeing. But yes, this monitor is good for basic gaming. If you're running cheap setups like I do and you mostly just cloud stream, this is perfectly acceptable. It's curved. It goes up to a 200 and I think it only goes up to 200 hertz. So you can get up to 200 FPS displayed on this monitor pretty accurately, which I love. It's pretty good for the price point, but keep in mind I say pretty good for the price point. This buddy was 100 bones flat on Amazon. A flat $100 for a 2K 200 hertz you know, gaming monitor. It has pseudo HDR. The monitor kind of just uh, upscales everything and they call it HDR with uh, heavy quotations there. Yeah, not the best thing ever, but I still like it. I still vibe with it, man. Moving right beside that, we have my massive 4K 60 Hertz TV. And you can already tell this thing has the best display in the room. And you're probably wondering, why isn't this just my everyday gaming TV? Well, for the longest time, it actually was my, uh, just plug in the console, play it. But here's the reality. Ever since I moved past console, and I moved on to PC, uh, this thing doesn't like PCs at all. Listen, 
Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily the programming of the TV or the programming of the PCs themselves, but there's just something in the software where either the computer doesn't like it or the TV itself doesn't like the computer. And it's just like, hey, yeah, you know how I'm a 43 inches and above? Yeah, I'm just not going to display anything correctly whatsoever. Like, yes, it scales correctly, the UI and the menu anyway, when you plug a PC into it. But every time you try to use an application of any kind, open a website, or do anything that isn't staring at your desktop, it borks it to high hell. There is tons of footage on this channel of this specific TV screwing the pooch on so many PC projects. I don't have a playlist for it, but if you want to do some digging, just go around through this channel. You'll find so many examples of this TV screwing the pooch. It ain't even funny. Talk about that boy last. But right above that boy, we got the HP Compact LA2206X. Yes, I actually have the actual model number and name of it. Now, this monitor is good for watching a lot of stuff. It's good for playing 2000s games, but if you are playing something more modern, oh, the focus is so out of focus. But if you are playing some modern, it just, it doesn't work. Like, with how graphics are nowadays, th this thing, it, it's, you guys could see it. That's not, <laughs> that's not a traditional, like, screen. Not even the crappy $100 thing has that. Not even the crappy um, Samsung's flat screen I showed y'all in the beginning of this video has this uh, really bad fake, yeah, it's an LCD screen. You could tell it's an LCD. Not a bad LCD, but it just doesn't do well with modern graphics whatsoever. So I, we got to move a little bit forward. Before I move forward, I actually remembered I have three other TVs that I own. One is a crappy, not Toshiba, it's an off-brand, like, Chinese flat screen that I don't think these guys want to see because it's from, like, literally 2009. And I, uh, I don't even think it works, honestly. I don't even know where the plug is to plug it into the wall, so I can't show you all that. And the last two TVs that I do own are currently, I'm letting my parents use them. And they're just generic Samsung flat screens from 2013. Smart TVs. Y'all have seen those hundreds of times over. I don't think y'all really care about those. Yes, I, I own a lot of TVs. Don't judge me. Here, as you can see, we have this lovely, uh, lovely CRT crammed next to a bunch of garbage down in my basement. This thing gets busted out for retro gameplay every once in a while. And yes, I have it uh, hooked up to various other converters so I can run my PS4 through there. And I have another converter that allows me to, uh, through the either the VG, VGS, VHS player or the DVD player, I can hook it up to my uh, big bass speaker that you can't really see in the picture. And then there's a smaller speaker you can see in the picture. And that's typically what it'll get used for. This is just in like a crappy corner of my basement. This is literally just meant for retro gameplay. But right now it's being uh, hacked up for uh, playing HDMI. Well, not HDMI, you know, HD quality games through a CRT, which is always amusing. Obviously, this thing doesn't get any serious use whatsoever. And the, uh, the last of the uh, image quality... Uh, Man, this is a really bad image. Uh, I just dug this out of my phone. I don't even know why I had it. I just don't feel like going down and... Uh, this segment's being recorded later, by the way. I just don't feel like doing another expansive segment over a monitor. But just to quickly showcase, this is the what I call the desperate setup. This is the uh, family PC downstairs that I only use when all my equipment is on the fritz. So yeah, this is the desperate setup. There's nothing special with this monitor, but I just wanted to quickly showcase how goddamn ugly it is. And the photo quality doesn't make it any better, really, does it? I'm not gonna show the crappy flat screen I had from back in this era, too. But oh my god, boys, this was the 60-inch CRT from all the way back in 2014. Uh, I, this is a surviving image from a... It looks very small, but I promise you, 
that is a proper 60 inch like size crt from back in the day the fucker was massive it took up the whole room like i know you can't tell but that's the whole corner of my room like basically all wall to wall just taken up by that crt on its little stand it had man i'm surprised the stand actually held up that thing easily i would actually wager that tv weighed a proper 400 pounds like i would be a i would be crying if i'm lying if that thing did not weigh 400 pounds <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to quickly showcase this i know i said the last one was the last of the photo segments but then i remembered wait i have like video footage of the original crt that started this channel so fuck it you're seeing it and then finally we actually have gotten to the whole point of this video my favorite fucking gaming monitor ever or my favorite monitor slash tv to game on and that is the hp compact la 2205 wg now you're probably wondering wait what the fuck didn't you just knock the compact martyrs earlier in the video well yes and ironically enough i've done some research this is meant to be an upgrade of this yes the thing that is rated lower in this video is meant to be an upgrade of that but y'all can see it this shit is sent to 4k right obviously it's not going to display in 4k but look at that everything is displaying just fucking fine and beautifully this is an lcd screen yes this is an lcd screen i know you can tell that it's like dated and everything but just look at this and for me anyway this is the perfect size it does 60 hertz it does 1080p my eye vision is borked anyway so fun fact when i look at this it looks almost the same as that i can tell there is a massive difference you know with the 4k tv i can tell the difference is there but it's like for gaming this is perfect and yes it, it's annoying because it's in 16 by 10 not 16 by 9 so you'll get that little border that's that's whatever to me honestly considering the size how accurate it's displaying colors the fact that it's not tearing which normally lcd screens usually do and look at that graphic right there man that graphic is beautiful i could go on forever about how this looks and i know it's not going to look perfect because you're seeing it through a fucking phone screen well phone camera but the hp compact series is a really good series of monitors it's just a shame they fucked it up towards the end with this atrocious son of a bitch because this is the cheapest lcd material i have ever yeah, that's how you can tell it's cheap hold on watch Th that's how you can tell look see nothing and i am pressing down the same nothing but this all day all day you're seeing it all day here I'll do, I'll do it up top in the blacks too see nothing i know you shouldn't do that i'm just showing it for the purposes of this video i'll, I'll clean that off later for all those who get bugged off by that but yeah this thing is just perfect for me uh, i'm gonna go in circles again but 1080p 60 hertz it's in 16 by 10 which is actually funny enough if we're gonna go closest to what my actual eye vision is this is this is basically what i see <laughs> hold on here Let, let's get out of there enter <laughs> here hold on let's move forward a little bit come on here let's go to a part where it actually properly shows the borders because it's gonna be funny because once this loads up this will actually be almost a perfect representation of how i see irl hold on let's get to it come on load up there you go yeah you see that with those borders and all that shit that is literally my vision that is literally my fucking vision that is how i see every damn day of life because i am a fun fact i'm actually blind in my left eye basically like you see this pinky you see the tip of my pinky i can maybe see the very end of that like that that's like a representation of how much vision i have out of my left eye it's like none i can close my left eye and it doesn't change it so i practically see in 16 by 10 anyway 
So it, it's actually amusingly funny because when I look at everything else, I have to move my head around a little bit. I, I'm sorry, I know I'm moving around. But when I'm playing on every other monitor, I have to physically move my head around. Moving my eyes doesn't do it. I have to move my head around to see everything else on all these other monitors. But on this, with how it displays and the fact that it basically compresses down, yeah, it works. It, it works for me. I don't need to swivel my head around like a madman because I can actually see the whole thing. I don't have that problem with 4x3, obviously, but the minute we go into 16x9 or more, I hate to say it, I need to move my whole damn head just to be able to see the whole screen and what's actually happening. So having this monitor, you know, naturally move it down to 16 by 10 and have it like, you know, uh, compress it a little bit in that regard, it actually helps a lot with me with gaming. So yeah, I know this is a little bit of a weird explanation, but just due to how my eyesight works, this is it for me. This is gonna be my all time favorite, you know, thing. And yes, it runs off the lovely, uh, <laughs> the cursed cables of doom that we don't like talking about in the modern era. But considering the pros for me personally, I'm willing to deal with the cursed VGA cables of doom. But anyway, guys, this has been a long video on all the monitors I've had, the pros and cons to all of them. And this has been a really long six minute segment almost on just this one monitor by itself. But hey, that's what you've signed up for by watching this video. And that's what you all have got for asking me over nine years, what's my favorite gaming monitor? So yeah, here you go. This has been a video on my favorite gaming monitor and why it's the HP Compact LA2205WG. Fuck yeah.